Primary and secondary schools have resumed in Nigeria and many parents are lamenting the hike in fees. Some private schools have increased fees by 300%. Government schools have also seen an increment in fees, all of which have raised fresh concerns over dropouts and increase in the number of out-of-school children. Nigeria already holds the record of the country with the highest number of out-of-school children of primary school age. This is our first hot topic. Vice President Kashim Shetima, accompanied by the Minister of Agriculture, Abubakar Kiari, and Minister of Innovation, Science and Technology, Uchin Naji, amongst others, will be representing the country at the G77 summit in Cuba. The summit holding from 15th to 17th of September, that is starting today, will deliberate on development issues facing members mainly from the global south. Obviously, the VP will be continuing the FDI drive of this administration on his trip. This is our second hot topic on the breakfast this morning. We'll also be taking a look at the front pages of some national dailies to find out what stories made it to the front pages. I am Maureen Menongwe and so good to have you join us this beautiful Friday morning. Take you straight to our top trending. First top trending, the management of the University of Lagos on Thursday beefed up security at the school entrance ahead of the planned protest by students, leaders, over the increase in tuition fees. The school management reportedly stationed security personnel at the entrance to check in students following the increment in tuition fees by the school management. Students have been protesting and demanding a reversal. Their group students on Wednesday staged another protest despite a heavy downpour and alleged intimidation by the police uh, as the police barricade. The students insisted that Exorbitant fees were making education inaccessible to many deserving students and putting a heavy burden on those already enrolled. Following the protest, the Student Solidarity Group Against Fee Hike, in a statement on Wednesday, disclosed that the Unilag management would on Thursday hold a meeting with the representatives of the students of the school and the National Association of Nigerian Students, that's NANS, the students have argued that exorbitant fees are making education inaccessible to many deserving students. All right, we'll, from there, we'll take you to our second top trending. Electricity supply has been restored in Nigeria hours after a nationwide blackout due to the collapse of the national grid on Thursday morning. Well, this was disclosed by the Eco Electricity Distribution Company in a post on its ex uh, formerly Twitter handle on Thursday. There had been a blackout in the country's major cities and towns due to the grid failure in the early hours of Thursday morning. The grid reportedly collapsed around 12.40 a.m. on September 14th, leading to the massive loss of supply to power distributors nationwide. The Enugu Electricity Distribution Company PLC also issued a notice titled, quote, Notice of total system collapse on Thursday, end of quote. It is the first notable power grid collapse since the last one happened around September of 2022. The TCN had last month disclosed that the power grid has maintained uninterrupted stability for over 400 days. Okay, so yesterday when the news went out that uh, power has been restored, it was a mixed feeling really because some parts of Lagos didn't have their power restored. Maryland didn't, uh, Allen Avenue didn't. Matter of fact, it was until around 1 a.m., that's midnight, that Maryland had their light restored. So, But this morning, I, I imagine that every part of Lagos has light and, and uh, other parts of the country where power was disrupted. And, you know, um, 2023 was actually worse for us with regards to the grid collapsing because in 2022 alone, we had six 
recorded six times when the grid collapsed. Uh, this is the first for 2023, and we hope it will be the last because we really hate it when things like this happen. I mean, with the increase in the cost of fuel, how many people will be willing to burn fuel now to power their generators? Not many. All right, so we're taking a break now. Come back with of the press. Stay with us. Our analysts will be joining us then to analyze the stories that have made it to the front pages of some national dailies. It is the Friday Flex edition of The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa, 15th September, 2023.